Uh, hi everyone, uh, here's a new continuous fractional steel. Uh, here you can see the percentage, it's about 95%, uh, about, uh, 94-95. Uh, we're processing crude alcohol that's about 40% uh, here. So we process it on a continuous basis. Uh, here is a pump, and we're pumping the stuff into the steel. Here's a control valve. It, this valve controls the supply of the uh, primary distilled alcohols into the column. Um, here's the water. Uh, this is the water that's getting separated from the main alcohol. Here's a valve that controls the tails and in this case we collect it in this plastic bottle. You can see it's just uh, cloudy or milky color, it's white, not really, not really transparent, just something like that. So it's a tails, here's a heads, heads in a separate container and uh, here's a body we're collecting body separately 95% uh, uh, the steel is capable uh, running on 6 kilowatt but currently running on 5 kilowatts uh, it sounds like I'm having trouble with one of the elements that will be replaced lately after the testing and uh, this is all the testings for just to find any problems any leakages uh, to adjust it to see how it works how it's running and what to do okay here's a rest of the steel is the top uh, uh, this valve is controls the flow you can uh, increase or decrease the flow uh, through the deflagmator through the head of the steel but uh, this steel is not really flow dependent there's uh, two separate uh, uh, passages for the water so to make sure that the water is not running through the condenser head condenser the condenser where the heads are condensed so this is the valve you're shutting the uh, stream through the condenser just allowing a little bit because the stream of the heads is not really great just to condense a little bit and the main main stream going through the head of the of the steel uh, through the deflagmator uh, here's a breathing section the steel breathes through this pipe uh, and it's connected just below the reflux ratio valve this is the valve for the reflux ratio control so with this valve you're controlling the actual uh, strength or percentage proof of the alcohol if you need it slower than 95 you can open it up and run it at 60 70 80 whatever you would like to it just depends on the kind of alcohols you would like to get. If you want to get some flavor, you can shut the tails and um, run it straight through. Uh, this particular one is designed for the spirits that are originating from the wine materials. So probably it's going to be used to produce some uh, brandies or something. So anyway. Uh, again, here's the water, and the control of this steel uh, means you have to find an equilibrium between the power supplied to the steel uh, and uh, ratio between the uh, spirit supply and reflux ratio. So, this is the wealth you're controlling everything. Uh, what would I say? Once you found the perfect ratio, it's better to leave it like this and not touch anything. 
So next time all you need to do is just to prime it a bit, switch it on, heat it up, run the pump and collect the spirits. This is it. So firstly the spirits probably gonna run out with a lower percentage. Collect it separately, uh, drop it back into the main, uh, main vessel or whatever container and carry on. You're gonna get your stuff. So in this case I'm processing 40% uh, crude alcohol and getting 95% body. That's a good alcohol, good for drinking. Not good for drinking, I'm not drinking a lot, but anyway for those ones who drinks. And again it's a continuous steel, it can run 24-7 on a continuous basis. Sorry, it's not outside, it's inside, it's in my workshop. And I have to sort out the lighting problem next time, but for now, this is it. So it's a proof. This is the first steel, there's another one waiting its uh, time to be tested and posted to the so guys, uh, who waited for a long time so far anyway, here's a proof, stuff is working, running, producing spirits, thank you.